welcome dear students to computer studies standard 11th english medium today we are studying chapter number 3 this is part 2 video the name of the chapter is creating animation using synfig today the first topic which i am going to teach you is animation using keyframe now this is a new word for you keyframe here you can see this uh, symbol of key now as i told you this is all our different panels okay so the bottom panel here contains uh, this many panels arms panel children panel keyframe panel time track cow canvas metadata this many panels are contained here from which we are going to touch this two panels today that is keyframes and time track now what have we to do here first i will tell you that thing now here we have to create an animation of moving the circle from left to right means we will draw a circle here and it will move from left to right this we had done in the previous uh, video also am i right but here the change is that a uh, change is that again we have to move it back to its position to the left so first the circle will be on the uh, left in the second the circle will be on the right and in the third the circle will be on the left fine so how shall we begin first we have to open a new file now a new file is obviously opened automatically when we start the synfig presentation now we have to go to the caret button okay and from caret we have to go to edit and from edit we will go to the properties and the properties will give the name moving circle to moving circle to in the description we will uh, give the description moving circle using keyframes fine now in the time it's uh, given the animation will be of 5 seconds but we have to make it of 2 seconds only why there is no proper reason for that it's because it's given in the textbook to create a presentation of only 2 seconds fine now i click on okay now i save the file see here you can see moving circle 2 now i'll save it i will uh, save it on the desktop itself i'll give the name moving circle 2 dot si fz and click on the save button so now the file is saved fine now here first uh, i will draw a background so that uh, it looks good and on the uh, top of that uh, i will draw the circle so to draw the background of uh, or to create the background of red and blue i take the gradient tool i make the use of gradient tool and uh, from here i can choose the gradient whichever i want to use so at present i want to use uh, say linear will look good so i go ahead with linear and i draw the gradient fine so our background is created now is the turn of drawing the circle on the left hand side so now i choose the circle tool okay now which color shall i fill in the circle so that it outstands from the background so i will choose any light color so here you have to choose the fill color that is in this square you have to touch so this color dialog box will open from that you have to select any light color so i will choose yellow color here fine this much is ready now i draw a circle now here i have to take care that i don't have to draw the outline line or 
create a region blind i have to keep only create circle layer the smudge only remember that fine so i have drawn this circle on the left hand side now we come to the topic keyframe now i have to i to create the keyframe see by default we are in the a uh, params panel okay i have to click on this key symbol to go to the keyframe panel at present it is empty we have not inserted any keyframe and by default where are we we are in 0f okay 0f means zero frame okay that is in the beginning so first keyframe we will create here where the circle is on the left hand side so i have to click on this add button fine so one keyframe is created now i go to 1s and there i create another keyframe now i go to the ending that is 2s and here again i create a keyframe so in all we have created three keyframes okay now the meaning of time length and jump what is the meaning uh, it displays time which indicates the start time starting time this is 0 uh, f uh, this is first second this is second second right then the next thing is uh, length length which indicates the duration that uh, how long it will take so duration and jump which uh, are links used to jump to the correct time and uh, description fine that you will come to know in detail later on so this much is ready next step i will switch on the animation edit mode so i click here so this green color man turns into red color running man now what have i to do i will come to the uh, first s here i click on jump okay j m p and i drag the circle from here till here then i come to the 2s okay here i don't have to move the circle so i keep it as it is now if you observe here okay click on uh, time track if i observe in the time track then on the time track panel you can notice three orange diamonds known as wave points now actually these are squares they are not diamonds okay but in your textbook this shape is defined as diamond okay textbook author is great so remember this word you have to remember it as diamond shape which is known as wave points both the things could be asked in the mcq so remember the words these are known as wave points fine now if you click on any position on the time slider then uh, you can see the circle on a new position for example if i click here then circle will be seen here if i click here the circle will be seen here so we specified only three locations of our circle am i right which were the three locations 1 2 and 3 we had specified only three locations of our circle but synfig automatically created the in between images or frames this frames when displayed together will give an effect of moving circle fine now the next step is we have to render the file so i will click again on this thing so i will come back to normal mode how to render the file i have to click on a uh, caret sign file and render in the render what name shall i give here moving circle 2 obviously but dot g i f from auto i have to make it 
GIF and I click on the render button. So here you will observe rendering process is going on. You have to wait till this process gets over. Now once the rendering is over, it displays here file rendered successfully. Now if I want to check, where shall I go and check the thing? In the place, in the location where I had saved the file, right? So now there is no need to keep this application open. I close this application. Fine. Here I can see moving circle 2, right? And uh, this is the original synfig file moving circle 2. And this is the rendered file, GIF file, okay? Now I have to give a right click on this and open with Internet Explorer. You can see that the file will open and the circle once move this side and then that side and it keeps on moving like this way. Now we create an interesting animation okay which is not given in the textbook fine. Here I want to create an animation using the star shape. So initially I will draw a star in the center. Fine. Now I will uh, zoom it little bit. Now what I am going to do is I will copy and uh, paste this star for uh, four times. So I copy and paste. So here you can see how many stars are created 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So total 5 stars are created. Now I want to create an animation in which the star will move to the end and come back in its position. So how shall I do it? I will have to go to I will have to start the animation edit mode. Okay. And then I will go to the first S, okay, first second. I will move this star this side, rotate it a little bit, and this star I will move towards that side, rotate it a little bit. The central star I will uh, let it remain as it is. So in the First second, the position of the stars have changed this much. Now I will go to the second second and then I will move the star still more that side and I will change the color of the stars and you see how beautiful it looks. So I move it till here. Now I change the color of the star from yellow, I make it white. I change the color of all the stars. Just see it will look beautiful. Fine. Now I come to the third second and I move the star to the end. Okay. Fine. Now, in the fourth second, I will again bring it back here. And in the fifth second, I will bring all the stars to its back position. I will rotate it and uh, bring it to its original position and change the color to light green. Okay. So where is light green? I will have to look for light green. Yeah, here it is.
or I don't rotate the star, then also it will look good. Let us check. But then it will not become one star. It will uh, show that there are different stars. But I don't want to waste your time. So I leave it as it is and change the color of all the stars. Fine, light green. Then this star. Change the color to light green. And now last one. Again I change the color to light green. Fine. My animation work is over. Now I will check how it looks. I will exit the animation edit mode and I will click on the play button. Okay. So like this way it will look. Now if I render the file and show you then that will be a better option but it will take time. So I am not rendering the file but hope you can understand like this way your presentation will look. Okay, you can create any shapes and make the movements like this way. So here we complete this video.